Hey, this is Anil from MarketingAutomationFocus.com and today I'll show you an online course platform that is very easy to use, very simple and very minimalistic in many ways and it may even save you a lot of money depending on which platform you're currently using or plan to use uh, for your online courses. And it is called Learn, and it's from Thrivecart. Now, if you don't know what Thrivecart is, it's basically, again, uh, very minimalistic and simple, easy to use, easy to set up, and create beautiful and very uh, efficient checkout pages or landing pages, if you want to call them. Uh, and you can either embed them on your website or uh, use their own uh, checkout landing pages that you create when you create your product in Thrivecart. So they just launched this online course platform that is called Learn, and they also have an uh, upgrade which is called Learn Plus, and I'll go over the features. So first, for Learn, you can create unlimited courses, unlimited projects, which is basically folder structure or categories you can you can uh, think of that as categories and uh, unlimited courses or lessons uh, unlimited students or users uh, for your platform uh, and a few other features um, that are uh, very uh, useful features and in a simple way and for most cases that's all you would need and you can have um, your video embeds, you can uh, embed images. Uh, it does not host any of your course content. So you create your courses by way of putting text and other elements like buttons or, or whatever. And also uh, you uh, embed videos or images for your courses as needed. So, uh, it has those features now. Uh, so if you don't have Thrivecart, you will obviously need to purchase Thrivecart. And oh, by the way, uh, my affiliate link is will be in the description below. And if you choose to do so, I appreciate that. Uh, if you use my affiliate link. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, I'll have um, a bonus for you uh, if at the end of this uh, video, uh, if you use my affiliate link. So, uh, uh, but that's up to you. And um, so, what you, what, so what you do is, um, if you don't have Thrivecart, you're gonna need Thrivecart uh, to purchase Th Thrivecart. And Learn comes included. You just have to uh, sign up uh, once you log in into your account. And then, um, as an upgrade, you can go for Learn Plus. Uh, it's a small fee uh, to upgrade. And um, uh, so let me show you some of those features. So my courses is the, is the section inside the app, uh, Learn or Learn Plus. In my case, I upgraded because I think it's useful. And um, Learn Plus has few features like advanced sequences. You can import in bulk your students, like if you have a list, so that makes it easy. You can have bundles, which is shown here. So you can bundle different courses, depending on you may be running a promotion uh, that, hey, you know, if you purchase this, then you will get two courses or one mini course with a master uh, course or workshop or something like that. So you can always bundle that and then uh, your students and then some of the time uh, team features. Uh, so. Uh, what I've done here is, so those are the key features and for Learn Plus, also another feature is C name. Uh, so you can have as many C names as you need uh, for your projects and or for your courses. So it's up to you and as many as you need, uh, there is no limit as far as I know. So that's a pretty good feature. Uh, that that's why I upgraded to Learn Plus. So now let's talk about that uh, the project project. So now 
if you click on new project here you can name the project and that's all uh, over here and if you want to create a course then you click on a course you can uh, choose uh, a project so if you have multiple projects you can create courses for whichever one you select the project name course name description author and any logo or image for that course that you might want I'm gonna cancel out out of here and then in your as you hover over a project then if you have multiple projects then you can move uh, the project uh, uh, up or, or down or uh, uh, move you know below another project or above another project okay uh, let's see okay so that feature I just discovered so uh, by clicking on this project once it hides the course which is a good feature because if I have so many and then I have uh, many projects then I can hide it and then all the other projects would be listed here and then I can move uh, around the uh, projects uh, below or above another project so that's pretty neat and if I hover over the course then I can edit quick link is to get a quick one-time link to see how the course looks and then you can clone uh, the course to basically duplicate it you can move it up and down below or above uh, other course and each course will have uh, modules lessons and students like how many students there are so I just showed you that you can just simply create your project and for your course you can create a course like I've done here uh, it's just a sample just to show and when I edit the course I can add modules I can add lessons so now the lessons could be instant or dripped or that applies to modules also and the way you drip either module or lesson is there are four different options one is the time period based which is simple enough and then another one is day of the month okay whichever day you know is not date based but whatever first second day of the month and then specific calendar date and you can choose whether you're applying to modules or lesson they still give you an option even if you clicked uh, either on module or lesson for dripping uh, your course or module I mean uh, lesson or module and then uh, another last one is after trial or rebuild so that's a neat feature as well so those are the two options here for uh, whether you want to do that for module or for your lessons uh, under a specific module now as you hover over module you you don't have edit option here and you can clone or delete and you here the module was created for it to show uh, or have instant access to all the students and it's right now draft if you toggle this switch it'll go to publish so I'm just gonna leave it that and then lesson you can edit the lesson same thing clone or delete it's available or instantly available to all students and it's in draft mode right now and same kind of switch okay and if I edit the lesson now here you actually create the content so I've just I was just playing around and I have uh, right now a video element here and you can have all these elements and I'm sure that they're gonna have more elements as needed but it's a simplistic form and most of the time uh, that's all we need you know bullet points dividers image video obviously heading and basic text HTML block that we can put in HTML code we can create column which is good content box is a good one and a button so it's a very well th thought out and then it says coming soon quiz option and then we have the sidebar width over here that you can define for your course as you're liking and then the sidebar color here 
and lesson area background color you can choose and course progress if you want to have progress bar like over here uh, and and the progress bar color so you can choose that color based on your brand so one thing to note here is that your asset specifically video and images both are not hosted those are linked i'm not too sure about the image i haven't tried but for video for sure it's not a hosting platform for your course content especially when it comes to video and image obviously when you're putting heading and text and you're creating all the lessons they obviously are hosting on that platform that in itself is pretty cool and and can save you a lot of money and uh, so so you can you can uh, uh, use these basic elements and to create uh, uh, your your uh, uh, courses or lessons here in this case and eventually courses now um, I can I can either save as draft or I can publish this lesson um, I can let's say uh, this continue button is for continuing to the next lesson so that button is there by default okay so let me just uh, so that's how you would build build your uh, uh, courses or lessons and then you will see this go back um, button uh, when you're done with this is how your uh, course is course page or lesson page I should say is gonna look like so let's go cancel out um, exit without saving I guess I clicked on few things and that's why it was double checking which is good and so now uh, uh, I had mentioned about the feature sequences so that's part of learn plus and this is where you see it I haven't played with this uh, I'll make another tutorial to do a deep dive on each of these features and automations and strategies also and so by the way uh, if you are still with me here uh, appreciate smashing that subscribe button and hitting that bell so that you get the notification when I create more tutorials like this or also deep dive into a Thrive Cart Learn platform that I intend to do uh, so appreciate that uh, so let's go on now uh, so let's click on next it just gives you some course options so we were in course content so you could do that too instead of next you can just click on these buttons so that's pretty easy that's like you don't get overwhelmed with this platform if you want to create any type of course so as long as you have content you are not going to get overwhelmed by uh, gazillion bells and whistles and stuff like that and here is a little option here which I really like which is show this course for sale to students of your other courses so if someone is has bought my course and I got like hundred courses you know do I do I really want to show this course also to on on their dashboard uh, maybe maybe I will uh, maybe in some cases I just don't want to show certain courses maybe I'm doing uh, I have a course that is for a specific audience and I don't want to show that at all even uh, be available to general anybody and everybody out there and then in that case I won't you, you know select this so for most purposes I think I I, I would uh, select this one right um, so then then it actually asks you that that what is that uh, card page so uh, uh, for for people to actually see it so I'm just going to leave that alone for now and then there are some automation behavioral uh, rules that these are related to uh, tied to your uh, your email automation based on whatever rules you come up with automatically perform actions based on your students behavior such as adding them to mailing list applying tags or subscribing them to a webinar or things like that so it's somewhat similar to behavior rules in ThriveGuard so uh, so let's uh, let's cancel out of this now 
okay exit without saving because I clicked a couple of times so that's why so now look look at this bundle and if you're creating a bundle then you name the bundle and right now I only have one course that doesn't make any sense and it's not gonna have any bundle uh, I, I could create a bundle name and just add this one but that's the only one so it's just a single course that uh, would be part of that bundle right and then I would create a bundle and it's gonna show up here uh, for my students uh, then it gives you the uh, stats on your uh, student and my team will show you uh, your team if you do have the team feature uh, included which is part of a learn plus I don't see the learn plus logo here when I'm clicking my team so I'm not sure what's going on with that uh, my my student shows learn plus but I believe you have my students feature even with learn uh, but Learn Plus allows you to uh, upload uh, your uh, students list in a bulk and, and bundles of course is a Learn Plus feature uh, and apart from CNAME etc that, that I've already mentioned. So now this is it. This is all you really need to get going and create a bunch of courses. It's, it's, it doesn't get any simpler easier than this uh, I have seen quite a few platform and uh, you spend so much time in configuring menus and all this stuff or you are with some platform that those things might be easier but then you are paying quite a bit uh, with those platforms granted that a lot of those platforms may allow you to host your videos but depending on how many videos in your how many courses you have and uh, how, how many students you have if you're hosting your videos on platforms like Vimeo uh, or Amazon S3 and the like you may may not uh, have that much cost uh, most likely you will save uh, cost by uh, going to uh, having your courses on Thrivecard. I mean, that's that's what I'm going to move to uh, for sure going forward. So now, so how do you sell this course? So you do, if you have Thrivecard, you already know the products feature and that's where you create your product and you create a checkout page within Thrivecard. Now, if you don't have that, then, well, that's what, uh, that's how you would actually sell your course. So since in order for you to have learn, you're going to have to have Thrivecart. And when you have Thrivecart, then you will have learn um, free of charge and learn plus you'll have to uh, pay a, uh, an upgrade fee. And um, so let me show you for the products. And so what's going to happen is that you can create a product just the same name as your course, for example, or if you were creating a bundle in and that's what your goal is and you want to sell bundles, then whatever name you come up with bundle, for example, you can have that as a product, which is your bundle in your learn platform. So you name the same one, for example, on your products page. So you create this. So in this case, I'm not creating bundle. I'm just creating a WordPress uh, basic course. And, uh, and, and so you create a product and just couple of things that are new I'll show you because this, this is not a tutorial on Thrivecart itself. So what you do is you, you name your product just like you do normally and the uh, key thing here is under the fulfillment tab that once somebody buys, uh, what is your support URL which is the same as before and then you actually add them to a membership site and that membership site now is your Thrivecart Learn platform. So obviously right now there is no other membership site that I have integrated with Thrivecart. So I have Learn so the system knows and I select Thrivecart Learn. Okay. And then I select which course for this product that I am creating. Right. So I only have one project and one uh, course as a sample. Uh, so I select that and then I use tags as needed on this one. So and then you continue with your whole uh, 
steps, uh, all the steps to create and finish your checkout uh, page design and, and, and the same thing here on the top behavior. So any automation you want to do uh, like a behavior rule, uh, applying a tag, uh, trigger something with your automation through your uh, email or CRM platform so you can do that. And so that's uh, pretty much it that the uh, subtle change, uh, minor change in Thrivecart platform in order for us to sell our online courses and bundles. So I'm really excited about this. So um, now uh, the last thing was that I mentioned that I have a bonus. So if you use my affiliate link to purchase Thrivecart, then I have a bonus of I'll give you a template um, from from my template uh, library. And I can also throw in a 20 minutes uh, jumpstart call if you're new to Thrivecart. Uh, so once you make a purchase using my link, once I verify that, reach out to me and, um, uh, and then uh, I can uh, give you the template and uh, also 20 minutes uh, gym call. So hope this helps and let's go create some courses. Uh, bye for now.